Go, go, go! Get the head in the game! We're the Beelzebub from Tufts University. The Bub style is mainly all about energy and fun. It's really just about translating how much fun we have on stage to the audience. What do you usually wear? It's not exactly a suit, it's, a, it's Bub gear. Right. Bub gear is essentially shirt, tie, jacket, and pants, but the pants don't match the jacket, so it's not a suit. Bub gear is just another part of going on stage and performing, and it just, it's part of what the Bubs do. This is Bub gear. <laughs> The Bubs started in 1962, and they were big innovators of like the new contemporary style of collegiate acapella. We're the oldest group on campus, and so kind of everybody knows who we are, and that's that's really cool. Here, people like recognize us on campus. At home, no one was ever like, "Hey, you were the bass in Ave Maria." <laughs> I kind of grew up as an only child, and coming to the Bubs and, and joining this group, it's such a brotherhood. It, it finally feels like I have siblings, and it, it's really strange in a lot of ways, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, oh Tim! Tim! Okay, and now the final trio, the top trio. One, two, three, four, one. Roll up! Roll up for the mystery tour! Good. We're gonna be singing Magical Mystery Tour by the Beatles. Our motto is fun through song, so uh, Magical Mystery Tour is almost an ideal choice for this group because everybody gets to sing a lot of different parts and everybody gets to bring that energy together and it's a great way to introduce the Bubs to America. Coming from the East Coast to take us away on a Magical Mystery Tour by the Beatles, here's the Beelzebubs. Guys, thank you. Now let's check in with the judges. Ben, did they take you away? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That, that was uh, that is just fun. And you've all got so much charisma in, in, in the middle of it that it's, there's, it's just, you know, my, my entertainment dollar exploded in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, too much information. <laughs> Way too much info. You don't want to know about my pocket? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, and it was a really wise choice, very smart. I mean, that's a really important part of this is, is choosing. I mean, because in acapella music, I mean, it's a whole different ball game, and you've got a lot to do, and you were exploring your space, which is good. Um, I, I don't have too much bad to say about the execution. I mean, it was generally pitchy at the times when it was the most entertaining. Right. So it was sort of like, uh, look over there, you know. <laughs> And I know that trick, believe me. <laughs> me too. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> but but you do know, you know your strengths, and it's going to be interesting. Uh, I mean, maybe not even over the course of the show, but over the course of your career as a, as singers, where you develop that emotional diversity. Some people kind of take that what you do is corny. You know, I don't. I think it's great. I think yeah, it's amazing. It's I think everyone in here loved it too. So, so I say yay. Nice work. <laughs> All right, Sean. Yeah, wow, um, Tim. You have a quirky bunch of brothers now, man. <laughs> no, honestly, man, it, it felt like I was watching a Broadway play. My goodness. I mean, it, it, no, seriously, seriously. The, the way you guys perform, and I mean, to agree with Ben, yeah, there were some pitchy parts, and I know being a performer, too, that sometimes when you're pitchy, all you got to do is smile and just keep it going. <laughs> and that's all a part of it. I mean, when things aren't necessarily perfect, the entertainment value comes out because we're watching you. We're watching the whole thing. It's not just about the notes all the time. It's about the performance. You guys covered the whole stage within a minute and 30 seconds, and that was impressive. Not to mention, I do have an affinity for those outfits. I think you guys have been... I, I think I wore that sweater a few years ago. <laughs> but you guys were entertaining from beginning to end. Charisma all the way. Beautiful. All right, Nicole. Okay, anybody at home who thinks that acapella singing is boring Please. and not cool Please. and not fun, you all have just proved them That's wrong. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I think what's so great is that you all have so much fun on stage and are so innovative and inventive. I mean, come on, you just sang the Beatles a cappella, like it sounded like a full band. You took us on a tour and you made a human van out of it. Yeah. Uh, did you see that, Ben? I was in the van. Yeah. You were in the van. Yeah. I think we were all in the van for a second. <laughs> wow, you, I mean, I think you did your Beetle Bub thing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You guys heard the judges, and later on we'll find out if you earned a pass to the next episode. So thank you, Beelzebubs. You can go back to your box. When we return, we've got a quartet of singing soccer moms ready to show the young guns how it's really done. More amazing voices and one-of-a-kind harmonies coming up on The Sing-Off. I'm so proud. I mean, there's so many musical elements, and you know, we have one shot to do it, and sometimes things are like on and off rehearsal, but we nailed it, and I'm so proud of it. I'm proud of him. Yeah, Nick is awesome. 